Uh, this is a crew training uh, tip that is for crew skills, and it works when you have a lot of skills or perks. In this case, I am on the fifth skill. So what you're going to notice is that your loader and your radio opera, we're going to look real quick, they don't have a lot of skills, so you're going to get up to, once you get around to the fifth skill, you used up most of them. But what you can do is you can reset, and you don't have to pay for gold. The gold price brings me up to 83. The cash price brings me up to 75. But my last skill is only to be like firefighting or repairs. It's a skill. It's not a perk. So you can actually do a reset and add something important, like Call for Vengeance is really important. I want to get Call for Vengeance on my radio operators. And firefighting is not that important. I only catch it on fire like once out of every 500 games or something like that. And uh, repairs, you know, we could still have repairs. It'll be at a lower percentage. We're going to have to earn some of it back. But we're almost at the point where we're maxing this out anyway. So why not just do a reset and pay the cash price? And then go through and add the call for vengeance. So I'm going to do call for vengeance. I prioritize spotting over camouflage. So we use situational awareness. And then we got concealment. And then between repairs and firefighting. I would say repairs because you're going to use repairs every game. Firefighting, you only catch on fire uh, so often. And let's say you do catch on fire often. Was 37% the number? I don't remember. You can go to your driver. And you could throw in preventative maintenance for the cash price. Let's see what it costs. You know, I'm going to lose a skill if I do it right now. Not that big of a deal. But what would I be sacrificing? You know, the... Uh, Smooth ride is not that big of a sacrifice. So you could go in for the cash price. You got to have, like I said, four plus the fifth skill, and it works out really well.